What's up? My name is Brew. This is an Odyssey check-in with the one and only Demi Lovato. What's up? How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Doing amazing. It's so good to see you. So glad you're back. I just, I have so many questions for you, but um, I feel like I've been catching up with you via TikTok lately. Like I'm, I'm following <laughs> all your adventures, you know, yeah. what you're up to. Uh, my favorite one I saw was the Dr. Wu who hooked you up with that, that spider web shoulder. Yeah. Tattoo. Yeah. That's so fun. See, what's the meaning behind it? Or is it just a cool uh, tattoo you wanted to go with? There's absolutely no meaning behind it. I had a spider on the top of my head, but then I, when I shaved my head and that had meaning, but, um, then I grew my hair out and you can't see it anymore. So then I was like, well, the spider needs a little love. Like I have to have a spider I can show and it just looks cool. So totally. I love when people do that. Everyone always says there has to be some meaning and stuff, but no, it looks yeah. sick. Like just roll with it. It's fashion. Yeah, it's totally. Speaking of TikTok, you've been teasing substance on one of the new songs off the album. People are obsessed. I hope you're feeling like all the love from this song already, which is amazing. Thank um, you. And you co-wrote it and it's got a pretty deep message. Could you touch on that? Yeah. So I got to write it with um, my co-writers, Laura Veltz. Um, I also wrote it with an artist named Jutes. And um, my producer, Oak, and um, the other producers on, on the record that we wrote it with um, were Alex uh, Niceforo and Keith Sorrels. And um, we had like a really, really great time writing this song. It was about, you know, there was just, I feel like we live in a world that lacks so much depth, like human connection. We're all associating I mean we're all connecting through social media and we don't like we won't see a friend for three years because but we'll be talking on social media all the time and it's like that human connection is what we're missing it's also like we're also intaking the content that we intake is like like trashy reality television and it's just like where is the depth in this world and so that's what I wrote substance about Amazing. Well, I'm so excited that that seems like the theme of the album, too. It's just going to be very like deep in a way and a lot of value in uh, what you hold you know, in your life, which is amazing. I want to throw it back to another album. Dancing with the Devil was about, you know, obviously ODing and starting over. But this one you did clean and sober. So I want to know how to feel like and how to differentiate from previous albums. You know, the, how it differentiates this album, I'm really proud of. And when I look back at the last album I made, it's not that I'm not proud of it. It's just, I don't know who that person was. Mm -hmm. And there are songs on there that I'm very proud of, but there are also songs on there that I'm like, I don't know that person. And I think I was really struggling to find my identity as an artist, as a person. And now going into this album with a clear head, I was focused. I was able to write about what was important to me without being clouded by substances. And so I just feel more sure of myself as a person and an artist. And that's why I think this body of work is going to be the one that I'm the most proud of. Absolutely. Well, you're putting out little by little and um, we got skin of my teeth. Why was that the first single to put out? That was the first single to put out because the first line, the first mm -hmm. line in it says Demi leaves rehab again. And it's like, I wanted that to be the message of like, yeah, I'm back. I'm out and, and I don't know. I just, I, I wanted it to be like a message. You know, I saw the headlines of when I got out of treatment and, um, and I just wanted to kind of like make a statement. So that was the first song that I went with. And then this is the single that we'll be pushing to radio and all that good stuff. So, um, yeah, that one was more of like kind of like a statement. This one's more of like, um, like a real single. <laughs> Absolutely, for sure. Well, you said this whole new project, you know, it's definitely rock and roll, but more importantly, it's a rebirth. And I'm curious, is that for you as a whole? Is it musically? Is it spiritually? Um, I would say me as a whole, like mm -hmm. me going back to my roots is obviously something that has to do with my music. Um, going back to my roots, like the music that I started out making, which was pop rock and mm. um, influenced by my warp Tour emo days. And um, so like bringing that back is obviously the rebirth of my music, but 
as a person, spiritually, everything, like I've gone through a lot and I've overcome a lot. And I feel like this is me being um, born again. For sure. I love talking about the roots. If we can go back to those, what are some of those influences, especially in the rock genre that, you know, you kind of pick up, pick parts of? Well, the, the band that um, really influenced and kind of turned my head and said, wow, I really want to go back to this is a band called Dead Sarah. Mm. And they came out with an album last year that I was just became obsessed with. And that's really what like made me want to go back to my roots was seeing them perform live and was just like, wow, I miss that. I miss performing that kind of music. But, you know, there's so many, there's like a lot of 90s grunge and artists and females that kicked ass back then that I'm still listening to. There's artists from my emo days that I'm listening to. So it's just a little bit of everything. Totally. And then you're dead, Sarah, they're hitting the road with you. So is Royal and the Serpent. Yeah. Um, any fun reactions? Because I can only imagine getting a call from Demi Lovato. Be like, you want to you want to roll on tour? Like, how did that go? I wish it worked like that. I, <laughs> I was texting with Royal. And I think that I think I was just like, I maybe maybe it was on text or maybe it was in person, but saying like we should tour together. That would be amazing. Yeah. Um, and then also dead Sarah, um, like I'm good friends with Emily, the lead singer and, um, her girlfriend. And so like they came over recently, I think for like a, for dinner one night and we were like, Oh my God, we're going on the road together. It's going to be so much fun. So, um, it was really cool. Absolutely. That's gonna be so fun. We can't like underplay Anita Strauss who's hopping on tour, you know, with you. Um, unbelievable. How excited are you to have someone on tour? And what does this tour look like? Um, we're so excited for that to kick off this fall. Um, what tour looks like, you'll just have to come and see. But um, right. <laughs> I'm, I'm really, really excited. You know, it's definitely not like there's not the last tour I did was like, there was like four or five costume changes, like wig changes, all that stuff. It's like, you're not going to get that with this show. This show is all about the music and mm -hmm. it's all about um, the performance and um, just it being, feeling authentic to who I am. And as you keep developing this new Demi sound and everything, going back to the roots, is there anybody that's on like a short list that you'd be like, you know, how fun would that be to do a project with or a song or any kind of collaboration? Yeah, of course. Like I'm always going to want to collaborate with Haley Williams from Paramore, mm -hmm. um, especially because I've been listening to so much of old Paramore's music. Totally. Um, and also it'd be sick to do something with Courtney Love. Oh my God. Come on. We need to, we can manifest that to happen. Yeah. That's unbelievable. Um, it's so cool to see, you know, develop into this new um, phase of Demi Lovato, which is so fun. But I want to throw it back. I ran into a mutual friend of ours, actually, and um, she was so sweet. And it was crazy going back in time. Uh, Miss Allison Stoner, who is like, oh, that's you know, great. Fan, what a sweet human. And um, I had to bring it up because I saw it like on my phone. I was like, you know, Camp Rock was 14 years ago. And she's like, it feels like 30, honestly. Yeah. Um, and I'm curious as to like what Demi now, like the Demi Lovato you are now would tell the younger Demi back in that day. I would tell her to that. It, don't take yourself too seriously. You're a teenager. Um, it's okay to eat dessert when you want to. Mm -hmm. um, you don't have to put so much pressure on yourself to be the best. And that life is about the journey, not the end goal. And you're going to learn so much more about yourself um, and to just enjoy it. That's fantastic advice. Well, we're going to get to explore the new album soon as you uh, co-host this upcoming week with Jimmy Fallon on The Tonight Show. Are you excited for that? Are you nervous? Like, that's a whole different experience. Yes, I'm nervous, but I'm very excited. That'll be a fun whole experience. And speaking of another host, Kelly Clarkson, she covered a throwback song, Anyone. Did you get to see that? I did. I did. It was so amazing. I was just like so elated that she covered my song and she killed it. She absolutely killed it. Oh man. And it's a busy August. So you got, you're doing the, the co-hosting. It's also your mom's 60th birthday. What a huge. How did deal. you know that? That's so cute. Come on. Yeah. We gotta, we gotta support any big plans. Cause your tours around that time. Uh, are you going to bring her on tour or do you have any plans for her? 
I have plans to bring her on the road, but I don't know exactly what day she's coming yet. We have to figure that out. But um, I just was FaceTiming with her before I did these interviews. And I was like, what do you want to do for your birthday? Yeah. So um, I think we'll just go to dinner or something. But yeah, I'll have her come out on the road. And um, that's so thoughtful. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Well, I mean, tell her from us. Happy birthday. And, yeah. Um, enjoy the summer as all these new fun things come up. Um, you say you're driving down the road, you know, maybe mom's in the passenger seat. What's the summer essential song? Like, you know, your brain goes right to like, this is it. It's, some, it's substance. Oh, of course. Substance <laughs> of is course. the summer song. It's, it's it. such a feel good song and it's going to be great to drive to, too. Absolutely. Roll the windows down. Enjoy it. Uh, check yeah. out Holy FVCK and the album and tour. <laughs> We're so excited for everything else to uh, come for you in 2022, Demi. So congrats and uh, enjoy. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you so much. Great to talk to you.